this actually looks better in person than it does online. It, the, online has like it does this no yeah, this, this is beautiful, is beautiful. Yeah. this is this is from what destinies yeah, home, home decor home thank decor. you yeah. creative minds welcome back to my channel my name is kish johnson and i'm the business owner of the house of destiny designs today you're looking at the aversion of my blessed wreath we're going to be making this for the lovely gigi and we are fixing the bowl the blessed wreath the original version has three different pieces that makes one bow for this particular blessed wreath we're making it with just two ribbons all right we're also going to be adding yes the statement of a lifetime blessed because that's who you are and that's why you deserve to have this statement boldly placed on your doors or in your home because it is reminding you that you are in fact blessed so now i have just put both bows sorry together and attaching it to the base the bottom of this wreath all right Guys, I'm talking like this because I have a mask on my face so I can't move my jaws around a lot. <laughs> so please excuse my funny speaking voice, but I happen to be editing this video, this video while I'm doing my facial. All right, so it's messing with my speech, y'all. All right, so creatives, we are now fluffing out the bow and refining it and making it look decent all right just decent so after you have used a zip tie i love to use zip ties to connect my loops and my folds together because it just really holds the bows together so great now if you've been following me for a while you've been you would hear me say that bow making is not my favorite part of this business but i have to make bows almost all the time i go to work and to design something in the wreath department or in any kinds of florals so i'm always doing it all right now we are making the connection of this wood plank to the grapevine wreath this is my simple method of doing it i'm using again zip ties and some glue gun and then i'm going to be bringing in the stapler i've already stapled the right side now watch me staple the left side attached that i am just going to make sure i hammer it down and pull on it to ensure it's not going anywhere and that's simply how i usually attach my wood signs to my reeds okay now we're going in, the design of the blessed wreath is as simple as this. We have a little bit of design at the top, usually some leaves and the bulwark at the bottom of the wreath. And on the side, we have the glorious, gorgeous, beautiful flowers. We change these per season. Now this is Christmas time. However, this client did not want a Christmas wreath, but I still had to let it match to the season. So I have attached I will be attaching some little gold stems that will just tie in with the season and after the holidays she can remove those little gold stems put them aside and have this be a wreath that is almost like for all seasons this is one of those wreaths that will stay on your door it could stay on your door for the year i hope you don't do that though because hey we have seasons for a reason and your home should say hello to each season <laughs> but i wanted to make sure that this particular wreath could span over at least three seasons of the year 
So I'm bringing in my glue gun because flowers will go wherever they want to go based on how they were placed on their stems, but I want them to be intact, neatly, and bunched in. So that's the purpose of the glue gun. All right, now I have a poinsettia again, which is a Christmas uh, decor ornament or floral piece, but we can actually bring this on here and it doesn't make it so Christmas looking, but it also makes it feel like a Christmas wreath. And it's white, so it's neutral. Perfect choice. I believe I am ready now to add the floral at the sides of the wreath. So again, because this needs to be neutral, it doesn't need to scream Christmas or holiday, it needs to be standard pretty much. So I'm going in with ivory and white and some greenery. So now when we are done setting up the flower at the side of the wreath, we're adding one red blossom, just one red blossom. And this just, gives it a new definition with a color, it makes it pop, it takes it away from just being too neutral and um, brings in some more excitement. So this is not the bright red, but it's like a wine red, burgundy floral that I add from time to time to my blessed reads. Okay, all right, and I think we are done. We didn't make this complicated. I'm just going to fluff these ribbons out one more time. I bought my ribbons at um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, so wherever, Walmart sometimes, wherever I can find these beautiful farmhouse looking ribbons, I will be grabbing them. <laughs> the neutral tones, the black and the white, sometimes checkered polka dots. Uh, yeah, bowls of all texture and patterns i need bows you're gonna have to give me bows if you want to give me something give me bows now what we're doing right here is trimming the ribbon we're trimming the end of the ribbon and we're kind of giving it that dove shaped so i fold the two ends so they meet and then i cut in a slant uh, kind of on a bias or a diagonal, however you would say that, but I'm turning the scissors up. Okay, we want to make sure that they're even, and so that's why I'm going back in again. Excuse my dull scissors, I could not find my scissors that I just bought, okay? Now this is the end result of the blessed wreath for my customer. She may hang this on her door inside, I don't know, but this is what it looks like on my door. And now get ready for the surprise. Oh my God, watch this. Okay, Shanette. <laughs> You are a blessed woman. I'm just blessed to have a friend like you. So when I saw this wreath, oh my God, it's just you. It has Charnette all over. Besides, you always wear bows like this anyway in her hair. <laughs> so it won't be in your hair, it will be on your wreath. And Charnette, I thought of you. And this, this actually looks better in person than it does online. It, it, online has like, it does this no justice. Yeah, this is beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. This is this is from what Destiny's yeah, home, home decor. Home thank decor. you. Yes. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Chi Chi. Miss Destiny home decor. Oh, oh, for my bestie. Oh, <laughs> oh. I had no idea that oh this goodness. was a gift. Beautiful. But thank I'm so you. grateful. So beautiful. Thank you. So where will you hang it? Right on my front door, honey. <laughs> Let the blessings flow Let all the, the way in. Flow. All the way in. Surprise! I didn't know I was making a gift for her bestie. Ah, oh, this just melts my heart, you guys. Go ahead, like, subscribe to this channel, and share it with your bestie. Pass the blessing on to her and to someone that you love today. Hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload something new. Have a blessed day.